Hi, I'm Greg Meering. I'm here at NetApp's UK headquarters with Martin Warren, and today we're talking about NetApp Private Storage, NPS, and how it can benefit your business. Martin, thanks for joining us today. Can you give us a bit more insight into NPS and why it would benefit companies using it? So NPS, in, in its very simplest terms, is storing data next to the cloud rather than in it. And the reason you might want to do that is that you might have highly sensitive data or you may be bound by a regulation to keep data in a certain location or a certain country. So that's uh, and it's basically through a, a, a very uh, fast network connection between the two. Often it actually in the same building, in the co-location data center, it means that you've got that, that best of both worlds. Um, the other thing is you can save money. So rather than dragging data all the way across the network to your own data center, um, you've, because you're in a co-location environment and you're using all the uh, data efficiencies like deduplication and, uh, uh, and you know, compaction and so forth which NetApp provides, it means that you can reduce that bill by roughly 80 to 85%. As NetApp, are you finding that you're being asked more about regulation type scenarios such as GDPR? Um, which comes into effect in 2018. I think it plays very closely to, to uh, GDPR. It's exactly uh, it addresses the issues of knowing where your data is. It means that uh, you know if you back up data in a, in a location in the UK, for example, you can be assured it's not actually then replicated in another country that maybe you didn't know about. So it's uh, because the storage never moves, and it's only the cloud provision and the application that moves. It's uh, you know exactly where your data is at all times. Why do you think uh, customers would look to a provider like Node4 to actually consume NPS as a service? I think what NPS, uh, sorry, what uh, Node4 brings is that you're making that service consumable. So NPS has been around for a couple of years and it's been great for you know, larger companies, uh, but what you're doing is making, packaging it all up, you're taking away the complexity and it means that you've got a ready to use con uh, you know, consumable um, service uh, which you can turn on and off as you, as you need. And why do you think a company would want to choose NPS over perhaps other technologies such as using public cloud storage directly? At the sort of generic level, DR and uh, test and dev, and uh, of course, uh, you know things like uh, analytics are a great use case. But the, there are many others, and our customers are challenging us to, with these all the time. Uh, some specifics I can think about SAP HANA, for example, where you can replicate the whole uh, HANA environment in MPS and then uh, use the, the compute in AWS. Uh, there, are, there are other examples, uh, there's a, a service provider that um, has reduced costs by using NPS, so they were originally using I think 1.2 petabytes of data in the cloud. Uh, they found that the, to get the data out of the cloud was uh, kind of costly. Uh, they've reduced that now from 1.2 petabytes to 220 terabytes. So massive savings there for them and it's meant they're much more profitable. So yeah, there, and there's many others. So one of the challenges that we're seeing from our customers is the fear of being locked into one of the public cloud providers. Do you think NPS addresses that and would actually be a benefit? I think data fabric is something that uh, NetApp introduced about two, two or three years ago. Uh, the concept of data fabric is that you manage your data, you store your data where you need it most. So it's about understanding um, you can you know, move it to public cloud, you can move it to a local service provider, you can store it on-prem. Um, it gives you that flexibility of being able to, to move to different places so you're not locked in and because the data management layer is consistent throughout all of those different locations and it can even manage uh, you know, non-NetApp products as well, you've got that flexibility and you're not going to be locked in because who knows where the business is going to go in two or three years time. You, know, you may want more cloud, you may want less cloud, but it doesn't lock you in in any way.